Welcome, wanderers, to Whittle Walsh's workshop, where here on Whittle Walsh's workshop, we'll whittle you what you want. If it's a bus, well, wanderers, it's been a while. Things have kind of slowed down a bit, but we're still in the framing stage. Um, last time I videotaped something, I was trying to hook up all the temporary. I was trying to hook up the DC fuse box so that I could have some lights in here, and that seems to be working out all right. That all my switches are are still operational, so that's good. There we go with the bathroom. Um, something that's something that's kind of something that happens when you when you start you know your framing process is you you've got to kind of get ahead of some other things so you know you start framing and then you realize oh shoot i probably ought to get the rough in for the plumbing done so um that's kind of where we are right here i've got the uh the back pretty much framed in you know for the bunks and stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna case all this with some trim so that's kind of why that's the raw edge right there but here's where the bunks are but here's where mama's bunk and my bunk are gonna go um you know right there is the band for where the bunk it goes around and then i'll lay those uh sh stringers in there for the supports um let's see what else have we got going on since the last time we talked i got those lights working so yeah so basically i'm at this I'm at the shower pan now. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run underneath the boy's bed here with some PEX that comes out here. Okay, it's gonna come across here. I'm gonna drill through here. Then I'm gonna put a T in right there. And then the hot and cold are gonna come up to the shower diverter. And then the shower head's going to be up there. And then I'm going to continue running that PEX underneath this shower pan right here. Right underneath there. And then there's going to be a wall right here for the other side of the shower. And, you know, fortunately, my switches seem to be lining up in the walls the way that I planned it, which is fantastic. So then you can see underneath there, I've got a little chase to kind of run that that um, pex through. So I'll run that through here, through this wall that I'm about to frame. And then I'm just gonna fasten that to the outside of this wall right here for, um, this is where my our cabinets are gonna start. And this will be the kitchen sink, right? So there'll be a drain right there and of course there's going to be a drain right there and those are the only two drains we have in this whole system because uh, we're not going to do a black water tank for the toilet we're going to do the uh, nature's head or something like that a composting toilet so basically what what i had to do was i had to figure out exactly where this drain was going to fall in underneath the bus and I was just kind of taking a gamble on it as I laid this thing out. I kind of looked under there, but there's a lot of different things that happen underneath that bus. But I think I got pretty lucky. So basically what I've done here is I found center of my drain hole, right? And I've got a great big eighth inch drill bit. And I drilled down through as a pilot hole to find out where my drain goes, right? Okay, so let's just go outside and take a look, see what happened. So as we go outside, I kind of cleaned up a little bit around the bus too, all that crap underneath is gone. So there's the bathroom window, right? So somewhere in here, there should be that drill bit, right? So I'm gonna get underneath here. Oh, the rusty bus. Oh well. So let's see, where are we? Okay. All right, so I'm kind of under here now. And oh, oh, there it is right there, okay? So that's the center of that hole, okay? So remember, I've got three inches of foam under there and then a, and a three quarter inch plywood. So that sits up quite a bit. So I'm really, I've got this flange right here that I'm dealing with. 
And I don't know if I'm going to even have to cut much of this out. But I might have to cut a little bit of this out. And then that hole will be right there for my drain. Which is really good. So that's kind of where we are. And then, you know, as you look down here, the sink drain will probably come in somewhere down here. And then I'll mount that gray water tank up underneath here. And uh, hopefully that'll work out. And then I have a dog right here. Hey, dog. What are you doing? Just seeing what's going on under the bus. All right. So there it is, Wanderers. We're under the bus. I think we're going to be under here for a minute. Stay tuned. Welcome, Wanderers, to Widow Walsh's workshop. We're here on Widow Walsh's workshop. We're going to be doing some plumbing for the bus. So, what we have here is our shower roughing diverter, right? Okay. Got this baby off of Amazon. It's a Delta multi choice universal roughing. So, what we got going on is, uh, you know, it says up on it, of course. And then I've got to set this. What it's telling me to do is set this, the flush of this plaster ring, they call it, to the front of my trim. So I'm going to, I'm not really sure what I'm going to trim that bus out with as, as far as the shower goes. But I think it's just going to be like a thin sheet good. Like maybe I might try to use some of that stuff I put on the roof. I don't know. But it's not going to be anything super major. So anyway, you got your, uh, you got your, uh, cold, hot shower, right? So then you want to get yourself, I'm going to use PEX because I'm not a plumber. Josh, don't laugh at me. So anyway, here we go. We got, we got our PEX fittings, right? That's good. They're going to be screwed on here. Bop, bop. And then I've got some, I bought this PEX kit here that has a couple hundred feet of uh, blue and a couple hundred feet or maybe a hundred feet of blue and a hundred feet of red pe pex pipe and it comes this is like the homeowner special deal right here it comes with a crimper and it comes with some fittings it comes with all the stuff you need so i'm going to basically put some teflon tape on here i got this pipe dope right here i'll dope it all up screw it on and uh, here's my drop, what are they called? Drop something, or other. drop head, or drop something, or other. drop ear. That's what it's called, a drop ear. This is what goes up above that, you know, it goes up above here, and that's what your shower spout thing screws up on into. So I'm gonna try to get all this roughed in to the bus so that I can keep going, so stay tuned. All right, Wanderers, there it is, all roughed in. There we go, we come down here, right? Pull back the shower pan. Oh, I got a teed off right there. It comes underneath there, and then it'll go up into the sink. There's the window for the sink. The sink's right there. Put that back. Come through the wall here. Underneath the boys' bunks, there's the bunk. Shoots right down and out into the garage where I've got a big coil just spooled out there, ready to tie in to the water tank and the pump mechanism, which will be inside of the garage. So stay tuned. 